I protect the 91st gate. I am Quizmo question that has no answer. Who builds the pipes of our world? Oh, does one put a coin on, in a brick? How can one bounce off of another man's head? How can one wield flame? How, where do bombless pits lead? We are overall still considered fashionable. Ponder these questions as you taste my power! I've yet to meet the elder guy. Uh, I'm just racking up points as much as I can. What? Why? How? Where? Why? Where? How? How? Uh, how could I lose? I, I don't remember. I don't remember which stammer guy it was, but I don't know if it's this one, uh, or if it's somewhere in the up, somewhere in the very late. But I'm pretty sure that I have yet to meet the stammer guy that I called old. Why do I have no memory of yesterday? Where do I live? What is the meaning of it all? There must be answers. He shouts out answers when he watches quiz shows on Samurai. Who doesn't? Well, some don't, but that, that's besides the point. I'm just nervous for the upcoming Samurai guys. Like, what if I meet a Samurai guy that does so much damage to me? You have finally found me. I'm strolling Padui. I guard this 92nd gate. If you have seen me, warrior, that my native land was known as World 7-8. Sorry. There I learned at the hand of my master, walking Padui. He spat fire. I spit wrath, and you shall be the one who is spat upon. I don't think I pointed at the last guy. Yes! You have spat upon my technique. My master would be spitting mad at such a defeat. He would spit angry words. And so he should, for I am not worthy of his legacy. I'm gonna double check if I pointed at the guy or not. Pretty sure I didn't. I don't remember. I did. I tend to forget. That's because I'm so stressed out! Outside of the duel of 100, he is a real stickler for manners and etiquette. And yes, that's how you say it. Not etiquette, it's etiquette. Oh no. I must congratulate you for reaching the 93rd gate. You are formidable. You are also unfortunate, for you will be launched, launched upon by me, fuzzy on face. My attacks will leech your very essence, and I will bow, bow upon you without remorse. I will chew on your hat. I will bite your forehead. I will snack upon your soul. I can only hope you have seasoned yourself well, so that I do not grow ill. It is, is your face ready? Then let us do battle. Now flipping, gonna flip, I'm gonna. What do I do here? Do I do cheap? Do I do cheap tricks or not? I think I should. Oh no! I did it! I did it! I freaking did it! I'm sorry that I did that. I cannot believe I did it. I must hide my face. I only took one damage, and that was from the ninjon. I cannot believe you defeated me. What is your secret? I cheesed it. I'm so sorry that I did, but I cheesed it. Do you have placing this on your face already? I must know the answer. I I am so sorry that I did that. I uh, I'm, I did not want to deal with that. That was so nerve-wracking. So I so I did what I best could, which was cheesing through the battle, and I did. That was crazy. I basically used almost all three ways to do that. My freaking word. You have reached the 94th gate. The end is near for you. As you now must face the gaudy... I think it's called that. Glided... Nope. Gilded Glitz Blade. Fear not, Challenger, for you will die today with pizzazz. I knew it. 
Nailed it. I'm so glad this guy does what he does. Oh no! Oh no! I shook. There. You have tarnished my glitz. Uh, I gotta heal. I am so screwed. I do not deserve to wear it. For you are the glitziest of in all the land. Uh, dang it. I so much wanted to show the attack. I don't think I'm going to be able to show it. I really wanted to. Oh, you are the one. Tanuki! The feral howl of Cluck of Tanuki grips you with shaggy terror. One moment, Wooly. The next year, Granite. I guard the 95th gate with a beastly rage. I did not point at the other guy. What side will you face? Unshorn animal or rigid statue? Tanuki! Okay, yes, you are the one. You are the one I was thinking of. My cloak is ripped. You're so slow. You're so old with that big stash. But Tanuki is a rare animal. Even more rare as a victory against it. Savor this great conquest into the perv, for the shaggy beast is not easily tamed. Ah, uh, I don't like this. Seriously, I don't. I freaking hate it. I was hoping to be able to show off the attack. That's because it's Blade. He enjoys listening to silky jazz and sipping espresso. Espresso. Sorry. What I could do is use Peach and Cudge to wait until he uses the fire to... Yeah, screw it. Well, no, I'm not going to spoil it. He hates the heat and wants King Samer to install the Dual 100 air conditioner. How does that work? That would actually take a long time. Perhaps you should battle at sunset. Kneel with this dog before the 96th gate. I am coin harvester without remorse. Do you enjoy your free time? Do you enjoy lounging about playing games? You will enjoy nothing. Once I've bested you, I will put you to work gathering wealth for me. You will eat the grit of road dust as your ceaseless to toil flows without ebb. And I will recline and enjoy a tasty noodles, tasty noodles, sorry, bought with the very sweat of your brow. Now I harvest your soul. Then Jerry, I nailed it. Oh, dang it. Backslash. 1,000 points. Jerry! Was, was it my fault that I lost? No, of course not. I just need much better equipment and more harvesters. Do you know anyone willing to work for a little pay, no benefits, and verbal abuse? His pockets may be full, but his soul is empty. Maybe he should harvest a friend. I am so close to leveling up, but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to level up before the final fight. But I would be able to level up afterwards. Look, Skyward Challenger. I am Pidget, on wind's breath, protector of the 97th gate. The air is without master, and I float upon the paths of its whimsy. Though I stand before you, my warrior spirit is, abo is above your shoulders. I loiter, innocent, until the time grows to fulfill ripeness. I don't know why I said fulfill. And then I swoop. My floating blanket will enshroud your fallen form. You will snow for eternity. Did that point of the other guy already? I don't remember. No! I'm gonna get a game over! I fall from grace. 
I don't have any healing items. You have studied the hand of a leaping master. Clearly, admirable. Most warriors fall, hypnotized by my rhythmic sway, but not you. My floating blanket, meant to be your funeral shroud, instead is your victory cape. Ugh, yeah. I so much wanted to show the freaking attack. I'm not going to be able to show it. That is aggravating. You are lazy. I'm not going to play anymore. I'm sorry. I am so mad. You acquired more training at the shocking hand of Sensei Ruff. It is here at the 98th gate that you will learn the hardest lesson to swallow. It is, a, is it a powerful new stomping technique? No! You are too lazy for that. Instead, you get lesson one. Humility. Yes. Oh, come on. I'm gonna get a game over. I am seriously going to get a game over against the 99th Samurai guy and not even face the hundredth. You've gotta be kidding me. I wanted to show it so badly. I am pit of crying shames, crusher of hopes, stomper of dreams. To fight me is to fight a hundred fearsome slobbering warriors. Many have ventured to conquer me, all leave with tear-stained cheeks. Those who challenge me here at the 99th gate have much to lose. It makes their sad, sad tears all those sweeter to drink. How fast are you? Not super fast. Oh no. Ah, ha, 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 ha. I am done. I am done. Are you freaking kidding me? I'm going to try this again. But you've got to be kidding me. And that's not because of me being in Race of the Challenge. I was that close. You know how I feel about dying when I'm that close to the end. It's aggravating every time. Oops. I feel like I don't play Thousand Year Door until I beat the freaking sixth chapter. And show off that freaking attack. Montage. Until I make it back. Or until I level up. Because then the hopes will rise again. So every green samurai guy I battle against is gonna be that I do a, that I jump on them from behind and try to get the stylishes. Because I'm thinking I will be able to level up before the hundredth samurai guy. It's possible. I know how to deal with you. Except for you weren't the... that plasma blast guy. <sighs> I was hoping I wouldn't be healing until after, until after like the freaking 85th or something gate. I would have healed against that guy if, other than the one that I fought before. That hurt. Got him! Ah, good. Uh, it's gonna be another one of these freaking things where I... Where I either get a game over or not. And I know I can level up before the 100th gate. Good thing is, I'm progressing a bit further, but it's still not very promising. Yes! I I got hit by that guy before. Thank goodness. I grew that.
I had no choice. I'm sorry. I hated to do that, but I had no other option. I'm gonna get another game over. Now, now the rest of this I, I have not played. The other thing I could have done there was using Barry. I think I can take one more hit unless it's from the 99th gate. Because the 99th gate, then I have no choice. I have no choice. I'm gonna get another game over. The only way I don't get a game over instantly is if I manage to do the rest of this without taking damage. So the 98th gate is the blue samurai guy, the 99th gate is possible, and the 100th gate is what we haven't seen yet. I have not even pointed at you. He was once co a cover model for samurai guy monthly. I'm just gonna point at the, at the other three, I'm not even gonna bother with the others. I know how to deal with the green one. Yes! Stopwatch. I need that! I need to stop this guy. But not right now. Keep on forgetting those guys can respawn. Crap! Thank you. Thank you. I did it. <laughs> Dang, my heart was pounding there. No! The ground is wet with the sad tears of my defeat. I'll help you slip on them and fall all the way back to the first Samurai guy. Pit of Crying Shames. He likes to eat his toast cold. Okay. We've made it to the final Samurai guy, and I know all about him. Prepare to be surprised. The 100th Samurai guy is the big orange. Big gold, never mind. So you arrive at last. This is the... It is this place you seek. The 100th gate. I am End Boss, greatest of all Samurai guys. It is my duty as end boss to laugh at your feeble party and proclaim your doom. Shall we begin? This guy is the hardest one of them all. It has 100 HP and 10 attack. Ha! You are pathetic. Prepare to be crushed by the as universe riv withers. He also rolls so fast, but there's an attack I want you guys to see. And I hope he shows it. Yes! There it is! He breathes fire! I finally get to show that! I just have to be careful with the damage. I'm so glad I finally got to show that. Oh man, how the- I'm so glad I got to show that. Let's see what he- what it says about this guy. By far the most famous samurai guy in history. 
He won the Sammy at last year's Sammy Awards for best final boss performance. Makes sense, because he's freaking tough. How the heck did I manage that? No! I think I found a way to cheese him. I did it! Roll credits. How did I do? I've been preparing for my big scene for years. I was worried about that final line, though. Was it end boss enough? No. I knew I should have gone with something about the wailing of all creatures. I was only worried that it would be too over the top. Enough talk. King Sarah awaits you in the next room. Go now, champion. We've done it. We have done it. We've beaten every Samur guy. That is achievement enough. We've finally done it, and I managed to level up from that. I was hoping to level up against that guy, because if I hadn't, I would have gotten another game over. Look at the HP. I had 27 HP, and thank goodness I leveled up, because if I didn't, I would have had another game over. But at least I got to show you the attack that I've wanted to show you for so long, that he breathes fire, because my word... That's what he does. He breathes fire as his hidden attack. Because on screen on my first LP, that never showed. He and I finally got to show you guys that. And I got to defeat him as Luigi. I'm gonna play as Luigi because I earn it. We've done it. This is it. The tents are different colors, and that means we've completed the chapter. That's the coolest thing, and look at this. This is this is a really cool look. Really cool outlook. That's King Samur, regal monarch of the Great Samur Kingdom. He is considering turning the Duel of a Hundred into an amusement water park. Heh. <laughs> Honestly, I had no idea on that. Oh, bravo! Wait, whoops. Oh, Jaws are the game, but the spectacle, spectacle of your warrior prowess challenger. I never imagined you'd be, you'd be the victor. Didn't all that savage combat get boring? But I digress. I, I don't know. I gave him the voice of Mr. Ping from Kung Fu Panda, but I'm terrible at that. But I digress. I am true to my word and shall grant you that my greatest treasures. Okay, so he does. So it wouldn't have mattered. They won't. They won't talk. The characters won't talk to him. So yes, like I. So yes, this was the cards that I was hoping to not talk about. He gives you all of the partners from Thousand Year Door instead of the Pure Heart. He gives you the partners from Thousand Year Door, which I thought is awesome. Goombella, Coops, Madame Flurry, Yoshi, Vivian, Admiral Bobbery. And Miss Mouse. <laughs> well, you see, I plan on bestowing our pure heart to you, but it's gone. Instead, I present you with these other royal treasures. My charity knows no bounds. Well, that's the end of that. Your battle is over. We were all most entertained. Should you find yourself in our kingdom again someday, do drop in for melee. Farewell, champion. No matter what. And yeah, there's the end of Chapter Star. It, that doesn't show up until... Until you've talked to King Samur again. Your battle's over! We were all most entertained! If you head in again, you start all the way back to the beginning. It's fun. And it's very satisfying for what you see over here. That King Samur congratulates you. It's sort of funny that Tim, that Tiptron says that King Samma wants to turn this place into a water park. I did not know that he had that intention. But guess what? You can actually take fall damage here. And there's proof. Pretty interesting, wouldn't you say?
we've done it. But I'm going to show off one more quick thing. And, I'm, and I am saving. The one more quick thing I'm going to show off is every... Which I get will be like a, part, a spoiler, but I already knew about Thousand Year Doors partners, so... It's not much of a spoiler. The only thing is, I don't remember their attacks. So, that, so I do remember every partner, but I don't remember what their attacks are, basically. So I am all good on that. All the way down to the bottom is where you will see that we got every partner card. And we're going to go over all of these cards. But in the stream, I'm going to go over all of the cards again. Goombario. Mario and Goombario go way back to Paper Mario. Enemies suffer when he uses his head. Cooper. This is Mario's good buddy Cooper from Paper Mario. His power shell move was and is a thing of beauty. It's a, it basically talked about what happened in the past. When, you've pl when you do or have played Paper Mario. Bombette was Paper Mario's bombastic starlet. Who knew a pink bob could pack such a punch? It's just sort of boring for what they say. It's just tiny summaries. Parakeri earned his fame from the original Paper Mario. He's the most fearsome mail carrier of them all. This is Mario's good buddy, Bo, from Paper Mario. The mistress of Boo Mansion slapped foes with panache. And, and honestly, a really cool partner. Watt. This is Mario's good buddy, Watt, from Paper Mario. Which, let's be honest, I actually thought Watt was like a little baby. This guy was pretty blight. bright. I meant bright. Bright for his age. Sushi. It's Sushi, the unfortunately named star <coughs> of Paper Mario. <coughs> Sorry. Being fishy doesn't always have to be a bad thing. <coughs> this is Mario's good buddy Lack Lester from Paper Mario. He played it cool in shades as he flew you over lava. Then comes the Thousand Year Door. If you don't want any Spoilers about the partners. I'm sorry for that, but I'm going to show them off anyways because you guys because Thousand Year Door did come out before Super Paper Mario did. It's Goombella from the last Paper Mario adventure. This extra spunky university student knew it all. It's Coops from the last Paper Mario adventure. Kicking some shell never felt so good. It's Madame Fleury from the last Paper Mario adventure. The most ruminesque Mario companion ever. Yoshi. It's Yoshi from the last Paper Mario adventure. The scrappy Yoshi was the only way to travel. It's Vivian from the last Paper Mario adventure. Can't wait to see Vivian again. This is going to be really, really epic for when I battle against the Shadow Sirens. I've wanted to battle so many bosses in Paper Mario the Alzheimer Door, that along with doing its Pit of Under Trials, because I know the Pit of Under Trials exists in Thousand Year Door. It's so exciting. She was a great friend once. She split from her sisters. It's the Shadow Sirens. You get to battle Bowser twice, just like in Super Paper Mario. You get to battle the x knots you get to even battle the Shadow Sirens, the Dragons, a lot of things. It, it was really cool. So, and I can't wait for the nostalgic twist. That along with just curiosities of how battles are going to go, because it's going to be a lot of tactics hidden in there. Admiral Bobbery from the last Paper Mario Adventure. Hit this salty dog knew, knew how to blast his enemy's broadside. And then Miss Mouse. I honestly forgot how you add her as a partner. This thief had a nose for rare badges. Great smoocher. Then Toad. This loyal subject comes from the, a very distant dimension. And yes, from the very beginning of the game, you 
is the only time you see Toad. Many people in that world have strange head spots. And this is very distant dimension. It's the Mushroom Kingdom. We have yet to see what this what this is, but trust me, you will see soon enough. Max HP 10 to 80, attack 1 to 8, defense 0 to 3. Even though the 100th Samurai guy has 100 HP and 10 attack. Which, I'm curious, what, is there a possibility that the 215th card is actually end boss? Because that would be awesome. Maybe it's just Samurai guy, but that would be interesting to know. This is one of King Samurai's legendary 100 Samurai guys. They're pretty uh, sensitive about their honor. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, for one thing, show you guys that I have these items. I'm gonna cook the Volt Shrooms into a fried shroom plate, but I'm going to sell the stopwatch. And then I'm going to, then I'm going to pick up some more things. I'm gonna pick up two Life Shrooms. And yes, I said two. I'm going to go to Flopside. Well, actually, no, I'm not going to have Merly spells. I'm just going to challenge myself by not doing that. Instead, I'm just going to stick to having two life shrooms and three shroom steaks. And then the rest is just dependent on what the enemies drop. Because I'm also having fried shroom plates as well. 